What's up guys? Today I'm going to talk to you about my most and least used handbags of 2022. Um, I tend to use or I try to use all of my handbags, but I guess there's just been a few that I've noticed that I kind of neglected in the last year. And um, maybe I'll just try to make a little bit more effort to wear them this year. So the first one I talk to you about is the Chanel Mini. This is a bag everyone loves. It's a mini, it's a great neutral color. It's a caramel color. I got this probably around 2017 or so. Um, I'm not sure why I haven't worn this bag so much. It's probably because the chain is a little bit too long for me when you wear it cross body. Also, the lambskin is just so, so delicate on Chanel's. I'm normally not one to worry or baby my bag so much, but this lambskin, I feel like is quite delicate. And so I just try to use it, I guess, a little bit more sparingly. I think that it's a little too small to fit everything. I have to think a little bit more about what to pack with me. And so that's probably why I prefer other bags over this one usually. So this one got a little bit neglected. I do love this though. I'll never sell it or part with it. Um, it's just such a great bag and just goes with everything. It's just, I need to give it a little bit more love this year. And so I just didn't wear it as much in the last year. So that's the Chanel Mini Rectangular. I also, it's probably one of the reasons why I don't think I'll ever buy another Chanel bag again. Don't quote me on that, but it's just not something that I really prioritize because it's just too expensive to, to have to worry about it. I don't want to worry about it. And this, I feel like I do. So it's just not worth it to me, but I do love it. We'll never get rid of it. The next bag that I really love, um, but I just didn't wear as much of last year, although it just, I think it goes great with jeans, is my small Dior Diorama. This is like a pewter color. I've had this, I bought this in London many years ago, and I know they don't make the Diorama anymore, it's discontinued, but it's such a great bag. Um, it just, because of the color, it's it goes with silver, it goes with gold hardware, um, and it's pretty easy to wear. My problem with this is that it's deceivingly small. It go The sides go in so much that you really lose a lot of space on the inside. And so while I love the color, the shape, and the style of the bag, it's such a great everyday bag. The size is so deceiving. And, you know, also the corners, because it's similar to like the Chanel Boy where the flap goes all the way down and it's got quite sharp corners. I'm just a little bit not worried, but I don't want to wear the corners down because it's one of my favorite bags. It's one that I love that's just so versatile. Um, it's pretty hardy too. And so um, this probably didn't get as much love as I would have hoped last year, but I do love this bag. Again, never gonna get rid of this one. The next bag that I definitely wore last year, um, particularly in the summer, I wore my 1955 Gucci horse bit bag. I love this bag, it's so versatile, it's white, but it's a very hardy, don't know if you can tell, but it's a hardy and grainy leather. So I'm not too worried about color transfer. And you know, I tend to wear lighter colors in the summer anyway. This is such a great size bag. This is, I believe the mini. And I love how understated it is. It's not logo heavy. It does fit quite a bit. It's a bit deceiving for a small bag. Um, this is so versatile because, because it comes with two straps. This comes with the green and red guitar strap, which makes it super casual and cool. But it also comes with a matching white leather strap. And it is crossbody and adjustable with about seven holes. So very adjustable for various heights. This is so versatile because you get the double straps and because of the size and its versatility. I just, 
I've worn it a few times. I just thought I would wear it more, but maybe it's because it's a seasonal bag. I only really wear it in the spring and summer. I could wear it a little bit in the fall too if I wanted. Um, but I do want to show this a little bit more love in the coming warmer weather um, that's coming this year. I love the, you know, it's obviously detachable because you can detach the straps, but I love these particular clasps. It's just so much more refined than the ugly lobster claw straps. And it's such a great bag. It really is. I just didn't wear it as much as I thought I would. Um, again, a bag that I really love. So the next bag that I didn't wear at all in 2022 is the Speedy B25. Everybody knows the Speedy B25. Um, has the bandolier straps that are detachable. Mine's inside. Um, I've had this personalized. I think I had this personalized in 2016. It was way cheaper back then than I think it is these days. I don't know exactly how much it is now, but I know it's it's jumped quite a bit. I got mine personalized in the fuchsia, and I think it's indigo. And I do. I used to wear it quite a bit, a lot. I just haven't shown it any love. And I think it's probably because I got a few bags that were new last year. And so I just was excited to wear those. And this kind of just got put into the sidelines. But I do love this bag. Um, I do feel like this personalization and the pop of color um, really makes it a lot more interesting than just a regular plain monogram. I got the inside stuffed with bubble, but the inside is fuchsia as well. So it's such a, it's such a great bag. It's so hard wearing. The canvas is very hard wearing. It's easy to just throw and go, not think about it. Um, and it goes with everything. So it is such a hearty, great everyday bag. I just really haven't worn it much last year, but I will put it back in the rotation for this year and it's a great year round bag. So I, I can't fault it. So that's everything for my least used handbags. As far as my most used handbags go, let's get to that next. So to end the video on a positive note, I will show you the most used handbags of 2022. And the first one is, is this Fendi Can I bag. It is in a size small and it has obviously gold hardware. This is such a great bag. Truth be told, I haven't worn this bag in quite a few years and it was kind of neglected and it was almost a bag that I thought about selling and then I was just like, let me use it again. And I used it probably again in the second half of 2022 and just fell back in love with it because it's such a great size. It's got great capacity. It's very wearable, neutral, everyday bag. At first I thought the gold was a little too shiny for my liking. I had wished that it was a little bit more antique gold, but actually it doesn't bother me as much as I thought. And I, this is probably my most used bag of 2022 because just the versatility, the ease, the size, and um, I don't know why I thought of ever selling you. I'm so sorry. It's, it's such a great one and it's underrated. Um, I know, I don't think it's one of their most popular bags, but I do love this one so, so much because it's not just regular black. It's got something a little bit more to it. I know it's a little bit logo heavy, but um, I don't think Fendi is like one of those bags that like everyone just dies over, you know, on an, in real life, maybe on the internet they do, but I do love this one. And speaking of Fendi, um, the other one that I really love, and I did a video on this, this being easiest everyday bag is the Fendi Baguette. Now, um, this one is in the light pink with gold hardware and the size medium. And this is such a wearable bag. I talked about the Chanel Mini being a little bit too um, delicate, being lambskin. This is called a Napa leather, but which is a type of lambskin, but it is a completely different 
type of lambskin because it's so much hardier, so much more hard wearing. I don't worry about, you know, scratching this leather at all. It's kind of like, sounds gross and weird, but it's kind of like human skin. It kind of like wrinkles the way, it kind of like wrinkles the way human skin would wrinkle, but then it like pops back out. So it's kind of like moisturized human skin. I know that sounds really disgusting and weird, but this is such a great hearty, everyday, hard wearing bag. I know it's got logos on it, but I feel like it's really discreet, if that makes sense. It's not that in your face and a little bit more subdued. Has such great capacity. It's got a crossbody um, strap. You know, it's a bit shorter than your classic crossbody, but I can still work crossbody on my 5'2 frame and shoulder hand carry, very versatile, matches everything. I think this shade of pink is a quite neutral color of pink and goes with most of my wardrobes. So this is just a great everyday bag. So go and check out that video if you haven't and it goes into more detail. So the third handbag that is a great bag that I used a lot of in 2022 was definitely my Chanel 19. I love this bag so much. This is in a size small. It is again also lambskin. See I'm not scared of lambskin but that other mini I am a little bit more uh, wary of. This is a lambskin but it's just so much more hard wearing. I don't worry about this at all and it's just a throw and go. Such great capacity. It's got a um, crossbody strap, shoulder strap, hand carry, super versatile. Love this color in green. It's just my color has always been green. So this to me is very neutral, even though it is a pop of color and kind of a vibrant color. And this is where I put my phone. And so it's just so usable, so great. And so one of my most used bags in 2022. So that kind of sums it up in terms of my most and least used bags of 2022. Hopefully that helps you if you ever decided to get any of these bags. If you enjoyed this video, please check out some of my other videos. I do a lot of styling videos and handbag videos. So check out my playlist and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.